Today, I'm gonna to show you the best way to sharpen in Premiere. Let's jump straight in. First thing you wanna do is get your clip imported. I've already got mine imported and I've already marked my in and out because I know which part I wanna sharpen. Drag your clip down onto the timeline and do a quick color grade. I've already got my grade set up, so I'm simply gonna drag it over the top. Make sure you leave a blank layer between your clip and your adjustment layer to slot in the sharpening. You wanna make sure that the sharpening goes beneath the grade because this will affect the colors and contrast. So first you'll need to create a new adjustment layer and rename that sharpen just so you don't get confused. Drag that new adjustment layer down into the blank layer that we left there before. Next, search for the unsharp mask effect in the effects tab and drag it onto the clip. Find a nice section in the clip and zoom into around 150%. This will give you a nice zoomed in image that will be able to sharpen accurately. When sharpening an interview like this, there are a few things to look out for. You wanna bring out a bit of sparkle in the eyes and define the hairline. Straight away, we can turn the effect on and off and see the effect it has on the clip. The first section we'll look at is the amount. This is the intensity of the sharpening. We can see its effect by turning it all the way up. We're not gonna leave it here, but it shows you what it does. Next is radius, and this is defined in pixels. At the moment, it's one pixel, which means it'll sharpen, by contrast, one pixel to the pixel next to it. Lastly, but not least, is threshold. This is probably the most important one. This defines what you're actually sharpening and makes sure that you don't sharpen noise. Let's start with the amount. I know roughly where to go because of the camera, but you can use the over and under technique to find exactly where you need to be. And this is a case of sliding it up and back down again until it looks right. You'll know when you've sharpened too much because the image will become very noisy and there'll be a thick line around certain edges. Next, move on to the radius. For the majority of cameras, this is gonna stay at one. But for instance, if you're shooting slow motion or your shot was slightly out of focus, you can use two or three pixels to really bring it back again. Next up is threshold. Don't leave it at one because this means you're sharpening everything in the image. And in some cases that means you're sharpening noise, which you don't want. The best way to do this is to zoom even further in and find a nice white or black or any plain space. Now, go up and down with the threshold until you can see that the noise in the image is not being affected when you apply the sharpening. When doing this, always remember to click the effect on and off so you can see whether you're going too far or not. Zoom back out and check the image by turning the effect on and off again. For me, it looked a little bit soft still, so I added 10 more onto the sharpening. Make sure you do one last final check in full screen because the image will always look sharper when it's smaller. And that's all there is to it. You can sharpen all of the clips in your timeline like that. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And if you know any other good sharpening techniques, don't forget to let us know down in the comments below.